Welcome back, everybody, to Seesaw Cup 4. Sorry about that long delay. We were waiting for uh, our players to arrive to the venue. Uh, but we are proud to say that Elki has arrived safely, and he'll be playing Rekful, who is uh, you know, an very anxiously anticipating his opponent by... Uh, taking some time playing some poker. Poker, yeah. I mean, that's pretty much all he does, right? He's yeah. like, when is he coming back? One minute? All right, I got time for one round. Yeah, I, like, I play one hand. I play one <laughs> exactly. hand. Exactly. He's like, one more hand, go. Yeah. Um, uh, I'm Frodan. I'm joined by Nax and Gara. Uh, I'm actually tweeting right now. Are you? To, to let you guys know, hashtag, uh, how, how, do you, how do you pound sign on a German um, keyboard? They don't use pounds here. They don't use pound? No, you have the euro sign if you want. Yeah, you, euro. Really? How do you use Oh, you do. Alt? No, uh, alt, uh, free or something. It, it, no, it's, it's, like, it's like this button next to the enter sign. Uh, either way, guys, uh, nice. make sure you're hashtagging SSC4 and let everyone know that uh, we're live. This is a four-day event, so it's pretty long. I didn't even do my hair today. I was actually kind of in a rush. But you, it seems made. I guess you're just like... You've it? Gotta, you, yeah, you've it's got just, it. It's kind of it's like messy, but... Yeah. It looks beautiful. It's like... Uh, like organized a messy. Yeah. You know, yeah, like every day I find out I'm becoming more like Reyna, you know, my hair is not done, I'm complaining, you know, I feel like I'm really salty when I lose Hearthstone <laughs> games these days, I'm not advancing past the round of 32. <laughs> Frost uh, Feels real bad, man. Yeah. Feels real bad. I can see it. Either way, uh, make sure you guys are hanging out here because we have a really fun match. Uh, Elki versus Regful, it's not a show match, it's actually right. a real comp competitive yeah. match here in the round of 32. Who would have thought? Yeah. It's, it's something that uh, we don't really expect coming in a seat story, but that's kind of what's really fun. And the really extra cool thing is that Elki is, I mean, people are looking at him as uh, an accomplished poker player. In fact, he recently won like a really big poker tournament and, and got a lot of money for it too. But he also just got announced on Team Liquid to be right. joining their Hearthstone division as a player. What do you think about that, Gara? I, I, I was about to say two very strong competitive teams are clashing against each other here. This is like serious business. This is not for fun. Yeah. And uh, Tempo Storm Rackful, he's like on the strongest team. Yeah. And <laughs> strongest team, yeah. And yeah, versus Liquid <laughs> Elki, like they're so, ace player. So, he's not so, even wearing a jersey. Where's your dude? Where's his, your jersey? Oh, he lost his luggage. Pajamas. He lost his luggage. It's his uh, mom's pajamas. For I was like that. pointing at him and he's just like, mm, I, I just have my mom's pajamas. But he the thing is he there's clothes, he has to go buy clothes later. He looks like yeah. a hobo man. Yeah. Hobeful. Someone gave him a dollar earlier. Yeah, that's pretty Dan's game though. Like he's been uh, he's been wearing this for three days. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, uh, we we actually got word that we have uh, an Elki announcement video that we want to show you guys a commemoration for uh, an esports legend returning home. I am Liquid Elki. This like sh uh, shift yeah, So uh, Elki is looking pretty pretty swell in that uh, in that jersey. He was saying yesterday just how soft he found it. Like yeah. it's pretty sweet. It's a pretty soft. Jersey. It looks pretty swaggerish. That's it, how it's, I... it's got like this Poker Stars uh, sponsorship as well. So yeah. good for him. Meanwhile, Rekful, he is he is on <laughs> Temple Storm <laughs> with a clean uh, jersey on one side yeah. and the ghetto clothes on the other. <laughs> literally, yeah, the ultimate we, just, face we, we literally picked up this homeless man <laughs> on the streets of Creffield and said, "Would you like to compete in a Hearthstone tournament?" And he's like, "What are what are my chances?" Yeah. We're like 50 50 He's like, "All right, <laughs> that sounds pretty good." What if I win? Well, you get to play WoW again. Yeah. yeah. Oh well. Uh, Let's not speak too early and do not speak ill of the dead. Rekful, Rekful is going back to the roots where he came from. He's not, <laughs> as, he's not ashamed that he comes from the streets. That's right, man. Oh, man. Rekful grew up with a, in a tough hood, man. Yeah, he's proud. Yeah. yeah he, he had to, you know, Rekful had to grow up in the toughest neighborhood of all, the internet. Yeah. That is where men are formed. Are for, yeah, exactly. He, That's he, where they're made. All, his, all that is missing that he starts rapping. <laughs> oh, no. Instead but Elk has got the evidence. Instead of his mom's spaghetti, it's his mom's pajamas. <laughs> mama's pajamas. He oh, got there's like, vomit on his sweater already. His mom's pajamas. Uh, <laughs> all right. Uh, let's take this opportunity to Please recognize uh, this raffle that's going on, guys. We want to reward you um, through people who have been watching through the stream. We're giving away chairs and hoodies and stuff. And maybe even a depot storm jersey if you can convince Rekful to do that. Oh, those yeah. are really good, I heard. Yeah, go to, they're actually legendary. Go to Rek, go, go to Rekful.com. Go to Facebook.com slash Take TV. Rekful's on my mind a lot. Yeah. Go to Take TV.com or, or go to Facebook.com slash Take TV. And you can see that there's a raffle button right here. 
Uh, we're giving away Maxonomics chairs, the ones that you see here. Mm. Maybe not necessarily in these color schemes. We'll see. Uh, we're giving away Hearthstone packs. We're giving away hoodies, so that way you can stay warm. And, uh, uh, all you have to do is fill out your full name, your country, and your email address. Three really simple information. And we're giving away to the stream. So you guys who are watching it, uh, make sure you guys enter for a chance. Yeah, and uh, if you don't win, it's no problem. Constellation Prize is uh, one of the multiple pieces of clothing on Rec Falls Back. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Free packs, so. Pog Champ. All right, well... Um, you know, there's, there's, there's definitely some fun stuff. So I hope you guys are enjoying the stream. Season is always a really good time. And you can tell that people are just relaxing. Today we brought up the poker table because it was getting a little crowded downstairs. Right, we yeah. had 35 to 40 people downstairs at all times. And it's getting a little stuffy. Um, and really warm. And really warm. And, you know, honestly, with that, many, with that many boys, uh, you know, at a young age playing in a four-day event, it does get a little stinky up there. So uh, we definitely aired out the place a lot more. And uh, it's, uh, that, that's, that's all I have to say about Pro that. Pro dance game. There's no, there's no way to transition smoothly yeah, out no, of that. No, it's a, there's, it doesn't you know what it. stinks? That's the fact that it took so long to get to this game. Whoa. Yeah. Smooth. Oh, nice. how about that you transition? Did it. You did it. Psych. And that is why I'm a pro. All right, so we're going to start things off with Paladin versus Mage. And it is... It could be uh, Freeze Mage? I was, no, it could be Echo Mage, because I know Wreckful loves Echo. Uh, I, it doesn't mean that he's necessarily going to play this here, uh, but, but it's one of the favorite, like his favorite decks you, of all time, I think. You don't run Fireball in, in Echo. Uh, in yeah, Echo. Uh, yeah, that's right, because you're playing more um, board-centric and uh, fire. You might run one Fireball yeah. to answer an Emperor. Oh, actually, Wreckful was like betting to <laughs> with Oskaka that he will submit the exact same decks as Oskaka, so maybe he has Oskaka's line. Maybe he's going to submit <laughs> what he put down in uh, you know, 2013 Invitational. Yeah, I remember maybe. that miss lethal. <laughs> uh, maybe. Uh, well, we'll see. I mean, I'm pretty sure he was telling me he really liked Tempo Mage. Yeah. Oh. oh okay. Well, so that mirror, image mirror image. Yeah. Looks like it implies, but still nothing for certain. Um, Keep the scientist is a really good pick. And I think for turn one, you you do you, you can play the mirror image, but when you're oh. not on the coin, I feel like the mirror image is really viable with the flame waker. When you're, yeah, when you don't have an early curve, you might as well just hold on until you can get, uh, at least get a combo to even Sorcerer wow. Apprentice. All right, so Secret Paladin is putting the fear of death in Wreckful's, uh, Wreckful's soul right now. And this is already not a normal list because he's running Aldo Peacekeeper. It's mid-range, sure. maybe. I, no, he, we saw Secrets. Oh, did we? Well, I didn't catch we also, we also saw Defender of Argus, which is not necessarily yeah. a common card either. So it's a very board-centric Secrets Paladin. Yeah, I mean, I did see uh, who was playing Paladin just beforehand. I think Lothar was running Paladin uh, against Oskalka earlier, and he told me that he did have, you know, two Belchers, one Defenders and everything, and he was running mid-range, so... Okay, well... The card's coming back. I, I like this uh, this position here for Elki to be able to get, like, a really strong curve. The only problem is that his Scientist doesn't get the guarantee... Oh, sorry, his, his Knife Juggler doesn't get the guarantee juggles off the muster for battle because the Scientist. That's really annoying. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like you might still want to do it just for the trade. Because um, the muster on its own is good enough. Mm -hmm. Alternatively, what you could do is, uh, if you hero power, you're forcing the mage to maybe use something like a ping. Because he can't go Flame Waker with a zero cost spell, for instance, in this mm -hmm. case. So you're either denying him the ability to do that and putting yep. the Fear of True Silver in him, or um, like later down the line... You have to hero yep. power, you can't feed the Knife Juggler. Exactly. So, yeah. like, probably the best. There's, there's more implications for Knife Juggler in future turns, too. You don't have to feel like it needs to go down on turn two, just because Tempo loss otherwise. Hype! All right, so here you get Sorcerer Apprentice number two. Blood Knight, Blood Knight. Aww. Oh, it's a knight. I was, I was sensing it, man. I was sensing the Blood Knight. He, he also swapped from the first Unstable Portal to the second one because he was feeling it. Ooh. Yeah. Was filling maybe that was the, maybe the left one was Blood Knight. He still has a chance to get yeah. it. Yeah, that sort of pen of staying alive, by the way, is so big. If he picks up Flame Waker the following turn, if he picks up anything amazing from the portal, I mean, it'll cost him one mana up front. Yeah, one mana Storm Knight is pretty yeah, cool. It, exactly, like it's gonna give you a lot of trading potential against a deck like the uh, the Paladin with yeah. the early game uh, mid range. So That's you're getting sick. a lot of value out of it. I know that. Um, you know, uh, Coliseum Manager in Arena is yeah. pretty decent because it's a 2-5 body and it gets to trade a lot with small minions, especially like against Paladin, mm -hmm. which people kind of always complain about Minibot. Um, and, you know, the fact that it's a 2-5 body with charge is pretty interesting. So it's like, it's something that you don't really see that often. I'm not yeah. saying Coliseum Manager should be played, I'm just saying that. No, but it's an interesting card that at some point, uh, I mean, yeah. against aggro, it feels like it should work sometimes. It's like if you're playing a yeah. class that can't hero power consistently. No, play Doctor Free. 
Uh, what Elder Peacekeeper? No, I think he's uh, he's afraid of the, he's very <laughs> he's afraid of Flame Waker with the yeah. with cheap spells. Let's say Don't so he has him. to at least defuse one of the portions of the. He would have had a pretty sick turn too to have Unstable Portal and Sword Moon Knight and Ping if yeah. he kept the Sorcerer's Apprentice alive. That was a good a good move by Elki. Uh, not, he's hedging his bets. Like I don't want to get Arcane Missile. I don't want to get Flame Waker. So I'm just going to deal with that uh, Sorcerer Apprentice, yeah. and I still get the edge in the long game if uh, everything goes well. But I do, I do understand what Gar is saying. Like Muster for Battle on three is really good. I think what Elki might be considering though is he has Knife Juggler still, so maybe yeah, the, the main thing is you want to <laughs> RNG with oh, RNG, baby. RNGception. I mean, you get another spell. You could get the one. Get that spell the spell for, for the for the Flame Waker. That's sick. El, El Portale. El Portale? Yeah. And the thing is, you usually want to override the Master for Battle weapon with the Kokama weapon, but, uh, weapon, but not the other way around. Wow. That's pretty awesome. That is not a mirror entity. That is such nope. a sick turn! Elite Torn Chieftain Frostbolt? Stormwind Knight. Turn five? With Stormwind Knight, yeah. And with Storm Stormwind Knight? What? Feels, yeah. Feels good, man. What? Alright, let's see what he gets off. Can Rogue do it. Can! Actually, I kind of want the ro I kind of want the horde warrior horde, thing. Yeah, to get Karen on both sides. I am Mur <laughs> I am Murloc. For yeah, you know, fight muster for battle with muster for Murlocs. Why not? Isn't that the best one? Yeah. Uh, if you get clearly, five. it's got to be. And then, I mean, if you have counter spell, elite turn chieftain is a perfect fit. Yeah. Because you're countering the spell you give them, and then you still have five five with the spell. Sure. Uh, you know, rogues do it for paladin is also not bad. It's like a slightly better. Hammer of Wrath. Which you wish you could play. It's uh, it's close enough. Like that card is close yeah. enough. That's four damage for four. Maybe. Go Golden ATC looks so cool. Yeah, I know. Yeah, literally his uh, guitar chords create lightning. That's so awesome. Marvel hero. That, that is my ideal superpower. On top of my ideal superpowers to cast well. <laughs> <laughs> but but Elki has here Doctor Six into Doctor Seven. That, that sounds pretty balanced. Oh, wow, it's a duplicate with Stormwind what? Knight. Duplicate on Stormwind Knight. Okay. That's interesting. Wreckful bringing out the funky secrets. So I was expecting Counterspell. I don't know yeah, why. Yeah, or I mean, Mirror Entity is a very common one, too. Yeah, it would have triggered, so that's why I'm a little or, surprised. Or even... Um, hey, you effigy? don't really duplicate. Even more, yeah. Or even possibility of Effigy, but it's yeah. like you definitely don't anticipate duplicate, so that is a very interesting choice. Muster from Murlocs. Right. I'm down. Um, although, I, th I think you have to be careful of the next turn being the yeah. challenger turn. Mm -hmm. And the challenger is really complicated with more 1-1s one -ones because that's an, every other target that buff Avenge and then um, competitive speaker becomes really strong. So you have to be very in cautious yes. about how you do this. Oh, so Storm and Knight is probably the best to kill off. Well, yeah. you, you might just go face with Fireball, Frostbolt. Like, eventually you can just start punching face. Um, and one of the interesting things is you have a lot of reach and the Paladin has almost no healing. Yep. Oh my god. Wow, he's got the curve, even without pulling the secrets. He Rest has in peace. He has the curve. You, you just go for it. There's nothing else to yeah. do here. The interesting thing is how, well, how many secrets is Elki playing? Four. Yeah. Four? Okay, so but no he, repentance. But I feel like he will get smoked down. That uh, I, I think he will. I think uh, Elki will get smoked down. Yeah. Like fast. Frost bolts, fireballs. Like you attack here with the Stormwind Knight to trigger, then you just go Stormwind yeah. Knight to face, and then you set up a like sp like spell spam next turn. Well, uh, you have twelve damage. Yeah. Rickfall has to spot it. But you can The Paladin can raise with this type of board, especially if Competitive Spirit comes out. I'm not sure they're gonna be able to raise. Because you're killing them next turn, right? And he has Stormwind Knights. Like you're, you're, you're killing them next turn, you attack now, and then you ping and play Stormwind, you deal 8, they're down to 12, and you kill them right away. Oh, they they yeah. only live with True Silver Champion. True Silver Champion Lothab. or Lothab. Yeah. I wouldn't sick. mind that. I wouldn't mind that. It, now, Wreckful has to be considering if he can go for it, but going for two-turn lethals generally is the correct play. Yes. Unless they have an overwhelming odd yeah, to, to like, kill like, you. Like a warrior hero power. <laughs> like That's like, well, well, you don't do that. Oh man. Is he All going right. for a shredder instead? Just like a more like stable board? Oh, He's gonna go for the control okay. game, which is uh, actually surprisingly like fine, but I think uh, the spells to face was also pretty sweet. I, th I think that was Foley. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I see what you did there. What did you think he wanted to do? 
Uh, I think he wanted to protect his ETC. It's just more damage. He trades the Frostbolt for five damage next turn. Right. Yeah. Oh my goodness. That's pretty wreckful maths right there. Pretty good. It's like he has the lethal, but it's like a different it's type different, of setup. Yeah. yeah, it's more sneaky, I think. If you like Stormwind Knight directly to face, maybe it's like it's a giveaway. Yeah. So then maybe he's more incentivized to play Doctor Boom now than True Silver Champion because he saw that. Eki could have also had lower tap. If he had lower tap, yeah. he would just lose. I wonder if maybe he tossed that emote out on purpose to kind of oh. throw he, him out, throw he, him off like, oh crap, like maybe I just didn't, I should have traded it. Oh, to because one -one. Elk is a Pokemon. Yeah, player. because Elk is a Pokemon. He went read into this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he went next level. Rexful is trying, he's trying out his poker skills, see if they hold. Dude, and if another noble sacrifice got pulled, all oh. of a sudden that math just got complicated. This otherwise is lethal. Oh, oh. yeah, that sucks. Mm, I mean, Lothab does keep you alive. It's I another think. revenge, too, by the way. Yeah, it's gonna get really bad. You, you can still Frostbolt. Oh my god. Oh, that's the. That's, what? Okay, that's, that's 21 exactly on board. Um, that sucks. And now Tyrion oh. prevents you from attacking face. So. He can I am Murloc plus Fireball. Take the, out 10 damage. The 10 damage, and then he's left with 11, and he's probably alive. And then he can ping, you know, shields. I am Murloc uh, will get pwned by Consecration. But that means there's no Tyrion. So you can still storm with Knight to face. It, there's still 6-6 six, six and a 5-5 five, five on board. Yeah. I mean, you could just Fireball, Frostbolt, Ping. It's all right. Oh! That works, too. Never lucky. Uh, it's tricky. Sometimes slightly fortunate. I mean, it is, he is trading everything away. It's just that now there's no way oh, he goes through anything. Oh, that is really this, bad. This is over for Wreckful. Oh. I'm actually surprised he used up all the burn on minions after yeah. uh, the two-turn lead. I can't believe he lost that game. I think he threw it. It was risky because if the opponent has low attack, he just loses. Right, yeah. immediately. But Secret Paladin has Doctor 7 and Doctor 8. They will out-curve you. Yeah. It's like you can't win value game as a, as a tempo mage. I mean, you really need to get crazy Flame Wakers early just to, to start getting ahead. It but is true. You never have Flame Waker. It's pretty tough. You never had Flame Worker, you're right. Oh man. Ooh. Wreckful is salty. Wreckful. He's gonna get Wreckful. Mm. Wreckful. Yeah. I don't know if Azure can even pull anything, unless he's playing Polymorph. I was gonna say, Polymorph, like, I've seen Counterspell, I've seen Duplicate. At this stage. Wow. He almost ran out of space for a little bit. He still loses to Rogues. Do it. He gave the lethal to his opponent earlier. Oh, you're right. Yeah. Unless uh, well, well, like, he doesn't knew, see it because <laughs> it's not intuitive. Like what? Right. what he, we don't get this card very often. <laughs> what if, is, he, if he knows it? Yeah. What is this card, dude? Elki's about to go one zero over Wreckful. <laughs> you know, last time Wreckful truly competed, was it Mizcon? And, and, and I think so. And he actually made the same mistake by throwing a two turn lethal away, if I'm not mistaken. And well, he mis missed Pyroblast lethal. And Wreckful right. is a rank one legend player. Yeah. Yeah, he is. Oh my god. Liquid Alki. More important, Wreckful is living up to the Temple Storm name. What do you mean? <laughs> What do you mean? I think shots were fired at you, Gar, because Froden doesn't yeah. compete. Um, so I think it, it's all you. I'm going to cast Froden's game later. <laughs> you will, and I, I will, I'll be there with you. And, oh, and we'll, no. we'll take him on. Uh, Look, literally everybody is saying that. They're like, I want to cast Froden's yeah, game. Yeah, you'll be uh, in, you're in Group G, right? So you're actually on the stream A, as God. opposed to being like... I'm going to get my B. revenge. So everybody Jesus. will get to see Froden's magnificent no. uh, plays. I, like, I know Tyus wanted... Or actually, Tyus is playing as me, but Tyus wanted to cast that too. And Eloise wanted to cast it. And All right, you know what? I, I might leave it to someone else because I. Imagine we're sitting here on the couch with like uh, seven people. Yeah, <laughs> they have like eight people chiming in. <laughs> three people sharing a headset. You know? Yeah, and the three, like the, the casting is actually nothing but screaming when something happens because you can't actually discuss anything. So you just like scream when Fodan makes a play. All right, well, game two uh, looks like we're going with Warrior to stop the Paladin Pain Train, which is. I don't know if that's the, the right answer. Warrior against Paladin seems really dicey at best. Oh, it's the Patron Warrior. Never mind. Yeah, it looks like it. Okay. It's actually a really good matchup. Wait, wait, what? It's just a car. Uh, it's a, oh, yeah, it's a Patron in Control Warrior. Have you seen that? It's like a the... Hybrid? Yeah, well, it's not really hybrid. It's my... Like, you play a Tempo Patron in Warrior because you play Ghouls and maybe Whirlwinds. Um, unless he's going for the Patron with uh, just a car to beat Control Warrior in fatigue matches. Top kick. Huh. I don't think that'll work, but... Okay, well, we'll see how it pans out. I mean, Wreckful really likes just a card. He, he thinks the card's sick. Yeah. And for good reason. It's, it's really powerful as the game continues to scale, but 
Uh, against Paladin, I, I don't know. It's interesting because Paladin builds up such a strong board against what Warrior does, like which is effectively just armor up and you just keep having one ones. And all the secrets and stuff really complicate the Warrior's weapons. Like Noble Sacrifice just owns uh, Fiery War Axe. Yeah. So one thing though to to keep in mind the you know the Shredder we see here. I, I've seen. I remember there was a time where Shredder was actually something in control. Uh, uh, yeah, it I was mean, attempted, so I'm not I sure mean, that could be it. Depends. It. Like I know, for example, what's his name? Uh, Nyria likes playing mid-range controllish warrior with shredders and stuff. Yeah. So it's just interesting because usually when you see Ghoul and you see Shredder, you're thinking patron. The new patron yeah. definitely is modern patron. Yeah. Well, this sucks. Uh, yeah. It's mostly for battle. <laughs> Gets challenged directly by its hard counter. Ghoul is so sick against warrior. I um, against Paladin. Yeah, no doubt. Well, he's got all the weapons in the world. And, and uh, Muster can't kill that ghoul, so it will have to be a Shredder afterwards. Uh, the really cool th thing, too, is that... Um, the ghoul thing? Wreckful can still keep this ghoul alive, and so Muster still gets challenged. Any challenges, whatever, gets dropped next turn. Yeah. And this should develop a free Shredder for Wreckful outside of, you know, disastrous two-drop coming out of the Shredder. Like a Haunted Fever. Well, it's not a disaster. It's not ideal. Yeah. Not ideal at all. What's, uh... I, w I really wonder... Oh, Kings is actually really dangerous. Mm -hmm. Like, you don't want to do it because Execute risks just punishing you for making the play. Yeah. Um, but, you, like, you can pop the Ghoul, then play Muster, force the Warrior to have an AoE effect. This is a event right now, right? Like, we've deduced everything? Uh, I think so. Okay. Makes sense. Well, Cockhammer shuts down the pilot shredder. Puts uh, out a 2-2. Uh, yeah, it sucks. Yeah, you want a 3 health minion. But I think card for card. They're fine. Yeah, you're 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 doing good job as warrior because your card quality is so much better than your opponent. Sure he has Tyrion, but you have Boom and Ysera. I mean, just a car is also nothing to scoff at. Another problem that you have to consider too is that you've got you've been given information that this is uh, Avenge, so do you part ways with Shield Slam here, just so you can clear everything? But then you you don't really have a board afterwards. Actually, what what you could do is armor up Shield Slam the one one attack with the the little two two and finish it off with the axe. This is what Frodo was saying. Yeah. Oh, you, uh, you can actually do do the same, but Shield Slam the two one, so you take one less yeah, damage. Yeah. Uh, it's pretty smart. Yeah. Yeah. Because if you kill the two one first, it busts to a four three instead of a three. Yeah, a three three, a three two. I, I, I'm okay with this too. Um, ultimately, you don't want the secret to trigger, and so, if he plays mysterious challenger, it's one less event that gets pulled out of the deck. Also, with the Justica, he can get like more value from the shield slam if he wants to later. It's yeah. going to be like turn 8. I mean, his turn 8 is a bit dry right now, which is yeah. based on what he's like we see in the head. Yeah. So there's maybe a good argument for that. Oh, God, that's going to hurt. Yeah, this is, a really, this is a pretty solid play. Now you need to execute in order to do that 5-5. Five, yep. five. By the way, uh, I was just looking at Elki. And oh. Was, oh, my God. That's, that's so deck. sick. That's a pretty sick draw. Wow. Not bad. That's not bad either, but the, he doesn't need that right now. It's just Bash is usually pretty good against some of the mid-range threats. You can go for the 50-50. Oh, the uh, Avenge? Avenge, yeah. Throw a shield slam and hope the 2-1 yep. the gets buffed. Well, I mean, no matter you what, you should anyway, get a... Like, next turn, right? able to, You should be able to... Uh, isn't there a way to guarantee it? Wait, shouldn't he have attack yeah. first? Yeah, attack first, and then... And then... Yeah, he should have attack first. Well, that's what he did. Oh, you mean uh, before shield before block? Before shield okay, block. Yes. Okay. Oh, you're right. It was a misplay. Okay. Oh! Oh, man. Oh, oh my man. God. Oh, oh you're right. You're right. You're right. You should have attacked first and then uh, shield block, shield slam. Oh, gosh. Oh, my God. What the fuck? Oh, that's awkward. Living up to the net. Like, this is. The this tempo is storm <laughs> name. <laughs> oh, gosh. <laughs> oh, no. Oh, no. This has become a disaster. Oh, Fields Paper, man. Dude, El and Elke is just bowling through him. It's like, are you kidding me? That is, he's he's signed. It's like it's boring for him. He's like, what is this? This is like no, this is like a rank twenty game. Yeah, well, I mean, when you do put poker glasses on for Hearthstone, you're taking the game quite seriously. In the first, he's place. not giving away any tales. Yeah. Well, that's what I was saying. Like, I was looking at Elki, and what if you can see the screen reflection 
<laughs> off his sunglasses. Because if you look really close, you might be able to see his hand. Yeah. Really, really close. Zoom in, hands, boys. I mean, somebody's gonna post it on Reddit. You know, you know it's done by now, Frodo. Oh, like God. you've you've caused it. The pixels uh, are uh, are up for grabs. Ragful. Dude, what a what a awkward trip, man. He's lost his luggage, he's losing his Hearthstone games, losing that poker. Actually, he's it, has he lost money on the poker? I was under the impression he, sure. he was up. He was telling me uh, he was up, but. Not sure. Know. And you know what? I mean, he lost his warrior, which against mage is really bad, too. Yeah. So, yeah. Good Actually, I'm surprised by that uh, warrior pick immediately instead of going with Druid um, to face off against the Paladin. Right. Because uh, I feel like Control Warrior, one of its worst matchups these days is yes. Secrets Paladin. That's true. Yeah, you have to run a very, like, the, there's a, one list that works semi well, but you're all in and you win against nothing else. So it's not, it's just not very good. No worries. All right, well, let's go. Zombie Chow. I, I, this is the list that I really like, but it's interesting that he has cards like Defender and he has cards like uh, Alder Peacekeeper. It and he seems like he really wants to kill... Keeper with Zombie Chow. It's I like mean, you're stacking a lot of the one-drops that are uh, mid-rangey. He just really wants to kill aggro. It's just with his Secrets Paladin, which is something that people really underestimate its power of doing. Like, they look at, mid, they look at Secrets Paladin and they think, like, oh, they just keep hitting phase. But yeah. mid range pa secrets paladin, like that's really defensive. It's actually a pretty slow deck, all things considering. Yeah. Well, the first time I saw it was really in the hands of uh, of Thais, which tells me he got it from RDU uh, that picked it up on ladder for like one day. So that's kind of the first time I saw the deck, and it, it surprised me at first because it seemed very counterintuitive because it was so so much less aggressive. Um, but the, the you you barely get sh you know pushed out of the board ever. It's just a bit slower sure. to set it up. I don't mind playing Zombie Chow. Both players have a pretty good starting hand. Chow is literally the same as Secret Keeper because Secret Keeper will get Buff. buffed to a 2 I would, I would Might as well out, start with a Zombie Chow, right? I would coin out the Secret Keeper as well. Oh, so so you can kill it, the uh, Esprint. Okay. Because okay. you always mulligan for Esprint because Paladin can't deal with it. This is one of the raw, uh, rare scenarios where you, can, where you can actually deal with uh, Esprint. Coin Mini Bot doesn't deal with Esprint though. No. Oh, but he wants to Secret Keeper Revenge and then create two targets immediately. For the yeah, that's right. what I, that's why I thought he was gonna play Zombie Chow, but where it almost has the same purpose of the like, as the mini bot. It's only weak to something like Keeper of the Grove. Uh, but you leave the Esprin alive. Really. That sucks. Yeah. yeah, and leaving the Esprin alive for for Druid gives him a lot of flexibility. Oh, Innervate Keeper. And then he so gets Innervate Keeper. Yep. Very powerful turn here for. Uh, Dude, Red that's Bull. so insane. It's nuts. Oh my goodness. This is the nuts for Rekful. He gets to keep the Aspire. No unless, muster. Uh, yeah, yeah. No muster for battle means this lives. If and he doesn't draw a weapon, this Aspire will survive for like two more turns. And if Rekful hits five drop, which his hand is pretty poor, all things oh, considered. Oh, wow. Okay, wait. Yeah, that's that's pretty decent. Do you go Zombie Chow? Uh, I mean, you do play yeah. Minibot into Zombie Chow, Cog Hammer on four? The thing is, yeah, but... Okay, Rekful's hand sucks. But yeah. if he had the five drop now as well, <laughs> <laughs> more ramp for nothing. Oh, it's, I mean, it's, it's a minion. Well, and yeah, right. Now he can utilize his hero power effectively to take out something else. Divine Shield is good choice so that way. Blessing Kings doesn't wreck you. I'm wondering if he's considering Savage Roar at all, but I don't think you'd need to. The Cockhammer will be sick though. Yeah, the Scott Hammers are a lot okay. of work. For, no, it's going to literally take over this board, which is kind of nuts. Yeah. Hedging is bad against Consecration. Perfectly fine. Heal the Druids. <laughs> Redemption on Zombie Chow. Sick. You can OT, OT heal your opponent. Uh, yeah, you can play the Fatigue game. Yeah, play Paladin Sky Golem and then get Akadai. Yeah, obviously. Well, uh, all the Darnassus Aspirants have been taken care of. Paladin and Druid are both running very low on cards. All right, Not that's going to give... Uh, I mean, do you cycle? Yes. And, uh, yeah. I mean, there, there's no to reason cycle. to ever do anything. You have no hand anymore. Yeah, like a 2-4 is not going to carry you very long. All right. Pretty good. But he still has to wait one more turn in order to do this. And uh, unless, like, if Elki doesn't pick up anything, right. uh, Rekful's in a great spot. But if something like uh, Lothab falls down right now, because I mean, the Cog Hammer to kill the two. Yeah, exactly. Like any minion, even Muster for battle at this point. Uh, that's something. Yeah. 
It's all right. Yeah, it's an okay minion. Honor Creeper. I think you can. Do you, I think you can play Redemption. I think you shouldn't get too greedy. It complicates a lot of the Druid's turn too, because if he hero powers and he only can play a four drop at best. <laughs> And you still have like semblance of board control, and even having a one-one up for mysterious challenger is like a pretty big deal. Oh, Twitch chat is hilarious. Gar Gara wants to read the Twitch chat. <laughs> it's hilarious. Oh, lost it's... WoW account. Lost, lost Jenna. Jenna. Lost hair. <laughs> lost luggage. Lost to Elki. At least not Ray Ned. Feels, <laughs> feels good, man. Oh, oh goodness. Damn. Who started this? I want the responsible person right now to report themselves right in. Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. At least Elki had like two bad draws with the Hunter Creeper into a secret. Yeah, this is what Wreckful needed to come back. Yeah. If he would have drawn like a Mysterious Challenger, this game would be probably over. But secrets are not what you want to see. Sure. You have to... Nah, going face, uh, you have to clear the board. Leaving yeah. spell power up. Yeah, spell power plus the fact that Drake... Um, can just continue to clean up the board here. I don't really like oh, it. Oh, goodness. That's a crazy pickup. Wait, he traded one in. Yeah, he's setting it up so uh, if the Drake and the... Yeah, he wants to give himself the redemption output, like, uh, outcome as a possibility. And if he pops the spider, then swipe cleans them all and doesn't trigger anything but redemption. Gotcha. So I guess... Uh, no. All right, well, like Druid is back in the super game. far ahead. Yeah. yeah. It, it, even can, it even can threaten Druid combo in, in a couple turns here. So, are you saying Raynad might win? Uh, I mean, well, Raynad. Wreckful! Yeah, don't, let's not get too crazy here, Noctis. <laughs> Sorry, the chat confused me. Don't worry, chat's always confused. Consecration clear. Well, that's Tyrion. all he can do, it's and right. Tyrion will get answered by Keeper of the Grove. But that also gives complete initiative. Well, not really. I guess you have a 3 3 effectively on board. Yeah. Although, I mean. Wow. Oh, goodness. Two Savage Roars. And that is going to be... Not it. Not it. Is there a problem? Yeah, it's though. Tyrion. Wait, is Keeper of the Grove... Tyrion? Savage Roar. If you pick up Innervate, you can double Roar, but it's not there yet. Yeah. Eight. That's rough. Fourteen. No, two. Yeah. if he does pick up Innervate, that is the lethal, I think. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you called it when you said that's Although, it. is there a Noble Sack set up? No. Uh, oh, you're right. Average already seen Noble Sacrifice already. So it really have to be like Defender of Argus that would just wreck him. Yeah. Like so Belcher, Defender. Belcher is pretty good here, though. I, I don't think it's enough. No, it's not enough. But it's still pretty nasty. You clear off everything except the, the low thud. And he will have, let's see, 21 damage equivalent. How can you clear it? Actually, to the keeper. Enough. You just kill off the 1-1 one, one, and then the 2-1 one, and 1-1 one, one and all, just use everything to trade him. Yeah. I mean, at this point you can't oh. let anything live if you're in Elki's shoes. So I think he survives actually because he just he overkills the Belcher. Uh, so 5-2. No, he hits for 12. Yeah, he's going to be one off lethal. I'm trying to see if he can pair damage at all. But just yeah. play Ducto Sabak. He, he can't lose. Yeah, Rekvo can't, can't lose this game. Uh, Defender of Argus will stall it though. Not too much. And in fact, because, honestly, be, you, you because of just, Elki's positioning. I um, would go just combo now and use Drew the Claw next turn. Like, it, it really, honestly, almost doesn't matter how you pull off this turn. Um, but there's always a chance that 
a little bit more stall comes from Melky. Although I'm not sure in what form. Like, lay on hands into equality in this deck? I don't think so. Um, yeah. So there's 11 damage on the board, but he's not going to find 14. Yeah, he still needs Defender. Even Boom is not going to... Oh, oh, wait, hold uh, on. Noble Sack is... There's still one, I think. So... How do you do this? Like, you, do you, what secrets do you even have in your deck? I think there's an Oval Sack well, with the, the rest. We're playing this for sure, so yeah. you should play it. And then think about, look at what secrets you get, and then think about combat math. Uh, kill Boom, kill Lothab. All right, pass. so three secrets up. Uh, one of them has to be Avenge, number two, which we've seen Noble earlier. Sack. One Noble Sack. And probably Redemption. So you want one. the Noble Sacrifice to go on, like, Lothab or Boom. So but you just kill the two... No, he's got hero power. He can still right, block it anyways. Right, exactly. So I guess you just kill the... The big stuff. Yeah. Taunt come cool. out. Oh, dude, if that was like a Noyotron... Yeah, that, oh my that god. That would have been pretty funny. I think he's still lost with a Noyotron. Yeah, he's but, still lost no matter what. Um, I, I think you, no matter how you kind of peer this together, the fact that Boombots, one Boombot will survive, or Dr. Boom will survive, or the fact that Dr. Boom can attack because of hero power is too much. He's putting everything... Yeah. Uh, not even close. It was, it was a good effort from Melky, but you know what? He got two wins with Paladin. Yeah, very and good. He's got uh, two chances now to beat uh, Rekful's Druid. He has Vortex. the mage available. I'm thinking Tempo Mage as well. If he's somehow brought a Freeze Mage, then that's really bad. In, in the show match, he played Echo Mage. Even wow. No, there's Daniel. no way he's being Echo Mage. He told me he's <laughs> never playing Echo Mage again. <laughs> He After got this, right. like he like like it's it's not even the fact that he lost with it, but he lost to Dan Negreanu, and specifically he just <laughs> did not want that to happen. So he's like, I'm never playing. Maybe Echo maybe, Mage. maybe he's playing Daniel's deck though. Daniel's Tempo oh, Mage. Plays. Maybe he yeah. got beaten by it, so he's like, yeah. I'm gonna he's like, play. man, that's a damn good deck. Yeah, we'll see. I'm, I'm guessing with such a fast queue, it has to be Temple Mage. Oh yeah. Oh, There's that was no instant. way. You just like, oh, I'm gonna pick Freeze Mage, yeah. Well, he's got he's got the curve. The thing is, it's a bit on the slow end. And if that until portal doesn't get anything small, then you're not curving. You could throw a Drake back, I guess, just because you really could look for Mana Worm and Sorcerers and everything. I'm surprised uh, that he's choosing to throw back uh, Flame the Flame Waker. Waker. Yeah, I do feel like it's pretty important to success. But at the same time, maybe he just really wants Mana Worm and Scientist. Those are just really powerful. Yeah, maybe Druid can deal with the Flame Waker too easily compared to other classes. Um, what do you think, Gar? Uh, yeah, I think it's um it's like a forty sixty matchup for uh, for me for, for Tempo Mage. I don't like. Does anyone know Rekful's list? I don't know. When you say forty sixty, that implies that Tempo Mage is unfavored. You mean 60-40 oh, yeah, in yeah. favor of? Uh, I was speaking from Rekful's because Tempo Storm. You know, I'm speaking from my team's perspective. Gotcha. I don't know if he like how many. Ooh. Oh yeah, we saw two Esperance, so he plays double Esperance. So no growth. It should be pretty good. Like, you can counter the mirror entities with Esperance if you draw them. Yeah. But what about uh, Unstable Portal and Flame Waker throw? I thought those were kind of okay early game. I think the Mage Hand sucks though, right? Oh, uh, no, it's okay. He's got Coin and Sorcerer's Apprentice. He's, yeah, exactly. And a bunch of cheap spells. So the moment he hits Flame Waker, haha. And then uh, he's gonna Spell Slinger as well, like, that's yeah. likely to stick it, it's, like, it's like Rogue. It has a potential. Oh, Antonitis. Oh, baby. Or Mana Worm. <laughs> Or Mana Worm. Yeah. But I'm really hoping for like some really fun shenanigans yeah. here. Yeah, it also triggers the Flame Waker for all that, yeah. that matter. Uh, if you okay. if you want a fun fact, because um, we saw that uh, uh, Rekful also was playing Tempo Mage, his flame, he was like really debating whether or not to play Spell Slinger because he's afraid of stuff like this. <laughs> he's he's really he doesn't want to lose to uncontrollable RNG. Yeah, so to speak. but I, I know. Rekful's, uh he likes watching people get miserable at RNG strikes, but I think everybody does. Yeah. By the way, um, I wonder how good that Shadow or Pain is against Druid these days. Uh, with Aspire, it's amazing, but in this case, because it's too late. Here we go, here we go, no here we go. Nice job. Uh, That's so anticlimactic. Yeah. Four mana, two draw. Dude, it could have gotten so many sick things, yeah. but... It's like, boo, try again. And it also uh, bypasses the problem oh of uh, Let's see. your entity by playing mind games. Oh man! Oh, oh my, my god! Really painful. Mechanical good. Yeti is so good. Spare what? Box. It's so sick. Yeah, that's so good. It's so sick. Uh, by the way, Mirror Entity is still, still up. up. Yeah, he has to keep Arena. I mean, yeah, yeah, keep Arena. This is bad news, Bears. I mean, and it, you it, keep your data Sorcerer's Apprentice, and he can paint it. But the he can paint it, and, and not Yeti, only that, but Elki oh also god. has Man Worm still alive. 
He's got like oh. the fireball with the mechanical Yeti next turn. Oh my god. And then his I own keeper. I feel like killing minions with double wrath might also be an option and you just slow play the, the keeper. Kills birthday minions. But it's so... Yeah, that yeah. actually is an option. And you just choose to go for it. Good call. Just can't afford to take that much damage with mana worms. But that Yeti though. Oh my goodness, the that burst in that head. Yeti. One mana Yeti is so juicy. One mana Yeti? It's just not like, bad. So play this it's kind of like the old school Undertaker, if you think yeah. about it. Play this a one Except drop. that was a 6-7. I don't know about you. Well, I specifically ran big game hunters to kill Undertaker. <laughs> Undertaker, yeah. I ran double BGH everywhere just Pretty because good of that one drop. Uh, no one. That's, a, that's an, an oldie, but a goodie. Oh, man. Double fireball as well. Yeah. Gosh, but you know what? The Ancient of War is kind of a lot He has of, Ancient of War. That yeah. could... Soak up a lot of damage. Who am I kidding? though? this is really tough. Damaging, from. damaging a spell slinger. <laughs> you know, if Rekful was cast, <laughs> if Rekful was cast in this match, he'd want us to say it's over by now. Yeah, because he's like very big on like a. Eh, I don't want to say that he has a chance. He doesn't have it. Oh my so god! So Rekful, you're dead. Yeah, I mean, I might you just go for the D -D double dead. arcade missiles of phase here. It's like smart yeah. it, because you get a double fireball two turns from now. That's the most damage you're gonna get. So you're getting this, six right now. This you're is setting up 15 people. to the face right now. <laughs> yeah, just, yeah. Just do it. I, don't let your cards be cards. Don't let your cards be cards. This is pretty much the definition of getting wrecked. That is deep. Yeah, wrecked full. Wrecked full is getting shrecked. Yeah. Yep. Then the RNG from the Arcane Missiles will surely end this no, he's, game. He'll pick up like Frostbolt or something. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Frostbolt. Missile, that. missile, fireball, just, fireball. just make him tilt. Just yeah. double missile. You know, actually, what'd be really sick. Everything is, goes face. Uh, oh, wow. This is. It really doesn't matter. Face is equivalent. Oh, to my those, God. Too. Is he BMing? No, he's just killing him. He's just killing okay. him. Yep. And that is a 3 1 victory for Elki going on to play Oskaka, the world champion. And Wreckful Wolf to go down to the lower bracket. Yeah, we'll be playing against Lothar up next. Uh, well, you know what? So. Uh, I mean, all things considered, outside of a couple of slip ups here and there in, in the matchup, um, you know, I, I think uh, we can't really discredit Elki too much. I think he made yeah. some pretty solid plays. Played yeah. pretty good. And Definitely. the esports legend is back. Come over here, Elki. Oh, he's doing an interview already. All wow. Right. Oh, no, he's not. Never mind. Change of plans. What a superstar. Oh, not even interviewing with us. Yeah, doing. How are you doing, my friend? You are uh, on fire. What's up? You must yeah, be feeling pretty better, good. Better than at the BlizzCon, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> Way better. Well, I mean, you, you uh, leveled up from Danny Grano to Rekful. Who is, who is easier opponent, in your opinion? I mean, uh, Rekful is obviously a much better player, but I played a Comesh for like 20 games before I played against Daniel. Yeah, so, yeah, sure. And like the Paladin, Secret Paladin is obviously a very strong deck, and uh, it's not that hard to play, to be honest. You know, when you have like... <laughs> Like the first two games, I had like really perfect curves, and then he didn't really have like a, he didn't, like he didn't have like a, so much counter. So, <laughs> sure, but the, sure. the, like, the third game against Druid actually he had like the perfect counters, and uh, I was kind of thinking about doing it, and then like I was like the only way he can feel the board if he has like innovate and keeper, and he had it, so it was pretty. That was pretty sick the, the early game. Sure, uh, but sure. yeah, they were really fun games. Let's talk a little bit about uh, you know joining Liquid. How did, how did that even come about? Because people weren't really expecting you to come back to I guess esports in general or just you know gaming compared to playing poker. Um, was that something that you were interested in, or did like Victor and crew approach you? Uh, it's something I wanted to do. Yeah, I've been uh, been having it in my mind for the last few months actually, and I approached Victor, and then Liquid just uh, it was just a perfect fit because I've been knowing Victor for like 15 years, and yep. I was always been a fan of Liquid. Because uh, the community is the best, because they came from StarCraft, obviously. <laughs> so like I always uh, been a fan of the community, been a good fan of Victor, and then like also like uh, I, I talked a lot to Show and Nivia, and the players seemed like really nice and great, and the organization in general seems uh, so great. So it was just like kind of a no-brainer. I'm like, oh, I want I want to get serious and I want to oh, do something, but I'm like, uh, you know, I'm like, okay, like Liquid is just like the perfect fit for me. Sure, sure. So uh, you've you've been practicing with like Dog and Show and Savis. Uh, I practiced with uh, Show and uh, Nivia most. The, uh, oh, Nairia, of course, of course. Wow, pretty strong roster, all things considered. Do you guys have yeah. any questions for Elki? How much is the fish? Sorry? How much is the fish? <laughs> how much is the fish? <laughs> Never mind. A poker joke. Oh, <laughs> uh, with the I, I haven't played poker here actually so so far, Whoa. so I'm gonna play. I'm gonna play tonight. I want it to be fresh because I was uh, I was like seeing gotcha. like Redfoot and I was like Oscar right. being up for like 30 hours sure. plus. So I'm like, oh, you know what? 
I'm like, I was like debating the pros. Like, either yeah. I stay up with them and I like bust them in poker, and they're sure. gonna be like in a bad, bad mental state. Gotcha. Or I'm like gonna be like, uh, like fresh for the game. Sure. But I'm like, either be up for 40 hours anyways. Like, their mental state probably cannot be that like, worse. So I was like, I was just, I just like, <laughs> I just guess, I just guess that I have sure. to like yeah. sleep. But uh, if, if things like let's say you keep uh, you you do you do keep winning, but then you lose like eventually, uh, you're gonna go dominate. Those yeah, guys. for sure. I go. Yeah. I go. Oh, okay, good. I go to take, take, take my revenge. if I lose to us. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so many of those guys think they're amazing at yeah. poker, and I'm like, we actually have a guy who's good at poker here. Uh, but it's good stuff. Good stuff, man. Congratulations. Thanks for that. And uh, you're not done Thanks, though. Guys. You're gonna be playing r immediately against Oskaka. What are your chances? You think against Oskaka? Because he said 100. <laughs> percent he said there's zero percent chance that he'd lose, even if he was like completely dead tired, missing an arm, and you know has like the worst. <laughs> he says he can never lose. I mean, I think I've, obviously Oskaka is a huge favorite, but I have some decks that kind of like uh, I kind of built some decks because I knew I wasn't gonna beat the best players here. So I kind of build some decks that can uh, rely on like, luck and good start and strong starts. You know, it's kind of like what you have to do. Also, it's kind of like a skill that you need in poker and Hearthstone. Sure. Like when you know you're not the best player, you kind of have to take situations that are not gonna be like the best, but like you can get lucky, right? Because like. Yeah. Well, I'm not gonna play like a freeze mage mirror against Oskaka, who's like yeah. one of the best players in the world. <laughs> I'm, like, I'm, gonna be right, right. I'm gonna be making so many mistakes, right? So I wanna dex like if I play like first fingers, maybe I get like fireball and he gets like a like what's that uh, like deadly poison or something like that. Sure, That'd be kind of sure. good for me if he's not rock. So you know. <laughs> all right, well, good luck then. All right, Thanks. well, wish you the best. Yep. And uh, with that, we are going to take a quick break, and when we come back, we're gonna have the winners match between Elki versus Oskaka here in Group E. You're watching C Story Cup number four. Stay tuned.